we have a uh, what we call a nucleus colony here. This is a small box and we use these for breeding bees, for using as mating boxes for, for mating new queens before we actually transfer. We'll be talking about the use of these in normal beekeeping, but at this case we're using this for queen raising. Now we open this box and again we have set this box up with five frames. Four frames have brood and bees there and it has sealed brood, young bees, lots of bees. The ingredients for raising successfully raising queen bee cells is to have lots of bees. This is a uh, what we call a, a swarm box and in it we've placed our bar of cells. These cells we've been put in 24 hours before and that gives the bees time to clean the cells, to, to uh, warm the cells and so therefore the success of our queens is enhanced. So it's important to put this cell bar in to your starter hive 24 hours before you actually do the grafting. Now a starter hive is the bees, the brood of a hive but no queen. This hive is queenless and that triggers the impulse for bees to want to raise a new queen. So therefore we're using their natural impulses. When bees are crowded and short of room they tend to want to swarm. And that's nature's way of multiplying, dividing the colonies. When the, ha when the, when the home for a, for a hive of bees gets too small in say a tree or something like that, they go into a swarming mode, will raise a new queen and drive the old queen with half the bees or all the old bees with the queen will leave. And they will set up a new hive in another location. So this is nature's way of, of keeping the species going. We are using that to artificially force them to raise queen bees. Now when bees are swarming, they raise many, many cells. We're using that same swarming impulse in making a very strong nucleus colony of bees with no queen and in, on occasions we can also force feed it with sugar syrup to create more urgency. That then will entice the bees to start not one of these queens, but probably 20 out of 30 they may accept as new queen bees. So this is what we're about to do now, is to take this and do the grafting to, to uh, start off a new lot of queens. So before we, we, before we go away and do that, we replace these frames back in here, again keeping the hive warm, and we'll put the lid on upside down, again which reminds us we're not finished, but prevents robbing by other bees and getting this hive too upset. We need to keep it as calm as possible, and we, we need to be gentle with our actions, and we will now go away and do the grafting side of the of the process.